been a minute since I've done a home upgrade, but this just arrived. I've been waiting for it. Doesn't look like much, but it is stove piping for the yurt. And I need to install some piping in the yurt so we can have wood fires in there and people can stay in there all winter because the way things are going, it looks like we're gonna be out here all winter because the city is looking a little scary. Not really scary. I'm actually really into the city right now. Outdoor dining has changed New York, but it could have another outbreak and we could be in shutdown mode again. And we're also about to have a baby. So we're just gonna chill out here. So I've ordered this stuff. Got some elbows tilted to the top for the sparks. I also need some screws, which I ordered somewhere. They are. Mm -hmm. I still need to get wire for support cables for the uh, outside of the stovepipe to hold it up for support from wind. Watch a bunch of tutorials on YouTube this morning. They recommend that you put it in cement, which just gonna let you know is not gonna happen for me. So we're just gonna go and get this thing started and see how it goes. And then I'm gonna go get those cables, kinda wedge them in, stake them into the ground. since I've been in here, but it is still looking good. A couple spiders, but yeah, this is the stove pipe. Let's turn on the lights. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but I've wired Lutron lights in here by remote. Super cool. It's really coming together, but this is today's project. I need this to go through there, and out the back and supported. So we're gonna start with that and see how we go. So I already bought this, which is an adapter from four inches to five inch stove pipe, because this is five inches, but our hole for the smoke is four. So that just sits in there, apparently. So I'm gonna grab the other stuff. Pipes, they better be. Took so long to get here. All right, just gotta get back around. All right, boom. Number one. So that slide in here. Supposedly. Perfect. All right, now that is too long. So I think I'm gonna have to cut that. I don't know if I have metal shears. How long are these elbows? Yeah, we are way too high. That is solid five inches too hot, which is really annoying. This is the problem with me running projects without my boy Buzz, who knows how to do the yurt, so. Pick up the phone, Buzz. Pick up the phone. Yes! Thank God. Look at this, though. B bit of a height discrepancy here. Yeah, no problem. So, am I just cutting this down? Correct. What, I need metal shears for that? Uh, you can do the shears, do it with a hacksaw. Came to the store. Get the goods. I've got the exhaust going out in. So I'm going to take 
elbow piece we made here, put it back in the hole, and then we're going to attach this piece. Okay, and this is looking good. Oof. Cut my hand somehow. Now I got to get the exterior pipes going and also get some support going for it. So this catches the hot ashes, make sure no sparks, spark screen deflector so that goes on top. So I thought I was gonna get away with just using some cables to secure this, but there's too much weight on here with this height. I think it's important to get it away from the yurt so the heat isn't too close. I'm gonna have to go to the store and get a post up, but for now, I'm just gonna dig this in a bit, set it up temporarily and secure it. actually worked out pretty well as a temporary solution. I'm going to secure the top with some metal wire, some cable, and then I'm going to secure it each direction three ways. I think we'll be pretty good for right now. Again, temporary. need to do some more work on this, but I actually am not going to have to put a post up in the bottom. I'm just going to fill this in and then bolt this straight through into the existing deck double bolts thing isn't going to go anywhere important to secure all these things fly out mid fire sick <laughs> seems to be pretty solid now seems very secure mm -hmm. so we have this set up for now but i need to do something to secure this to this right now before we leave so back to the tool shed see what i can find all right devise a small plane here to hold this over and screw these in to there double up some screws on either side here then i'm going to put a leverage point here with the stovepipe screws in here to pull it back to where it needs to go it's a little makeshift but it's going to do Woo. Your plan's gonna work. She isn't going anywhere. That is that, I got my three points. One here, one on the bottom of this tree, one on the bottom of the foundation of the deck. Screwed this post in, it's not going anywhere. Jimmied up a bit of a structure here. So, this isn't moving at all. Let's check inside. This thing is looking really good now. My friends, we are ready for a fire. While I was doing this, Hannah's foraging. Examples of conifers are cedars, cypress, junipers, pines, right. redwoods, spruces. It's three hours till we leave here, four hours. It burns up to three hours. Dura flame log, perfect way to test this thing. So hopefully it'll be dying out by the time we leave because I don't want to leave a fire going. When you hook this thing up, you can't just not test it out. You gotta get immediate satisfaction from the projects. Let's see how it goes. It's probably about to get extremely hot in here because it's hot outside, but just gotta see how this baby works. Make sure the smoke is doing what it should be doing. seen any smoke yet I don't know if you guys can see that but we are cooking Woo -hoo -hoo. the yurt is heating up for winter I mean how epic is that got your bed you got your skylight and then Got your fire? Come on. 
This is a dream. Oh yeah. This thing is smoking. All right, so area's cleaned up. Fire's brewing. Let's see how it's doing. Smoke free. Wow. It's warm in here. I wish you could feel that. Let's see this thing. Oh yeah. All right, that's it. Project done. Fire's cooking. I'm pretty excited about this. This yurt is looking amazing. And now it's ready for all seasons. Four seasons, not just two, not three. It's actually getting so hot there. But in the winter, you'll be setting there. I'm proud of it. The yurt, get one yourself if you need an extra room in your house or outside your house. It's been a really fun project. Now this thing's kind of just gonna put some art in the walls, hang some stuff and uh, yeah, just keep decorating, make some memories. Hopefully some good people come stay. All right guys, that's it. Thanks for watching as always. Remember to subscribe down here and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. See you soon.